Once you get past this big tree, hang a left. A lot of twigs that poke your eyes out. Yeah, nice and slow, swing it through there. Fish on, fish on. Right, easy, easy, hang on to him. Yep. Little, little bass, little smallmouth. It's a smallmouth? No. Yeah. yeah, jumping out of the water. Dude, it's a baby brown. Little trout. It's a little brown. Little brownie. You see him jumping? Yeah. Goes to show you guys, if Josh can throw a spinner and catch him, anyone can come down here and do it. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Gosh. So pretty. They're so stocky. Like these fish are solid guys. They're not squishy like like the lake trout. These things are just solid. Big steelhead. Let me, let me get out of your way. He's got a big one on, folks. Oh, he's sticking you in the oh, ripple. Oh. Oh, my oh. oh, he's jumping down. Dude, river. he's jumping down river. You gotta chase him. Oh no, and I'm sick as a dog. Come on up here, please. Come up here. Oh, I gotta go. He's jumping way over there. Is this a big one, Eric? Yeah, big steelhead. How big? 88 pounds. No. 87 or 88? That's a giant, dude. Yeah, maybe 90. Dude, this thing's fighting so hard. He was airing out. What did do, buddy? There he is. Oh, <laughs> dude, look I'm at that. I'm cold, I got the chills, but I got me a steelhead, buddy. Oh, man. Got me a steelhead. Dude, he's chunky. Beautiful, isn't it? Wow. There he is. Look at that. Steelhead, rainbow trout. You want to unhook them for me? Yeah, I got that. Of course, I didn't bring a pliers, so. Yeah, you think you're more prepared? My fault. I got scissors and bobbers. So what do you think, is eight pounds? Yeah, that's a nice fish. We'll, we'll let him go. Let's catch another one, all right? This company called Fish Brain contacted me, and they're like, yo, we really want you to download our app and try it out. So I downloaded it, and it actually was pretty cool. I uploaded my Kobe photo from Virginia, and it was able to detect it was Kobe. It uses AI technology, and I thought that was really, really cool. And also, there's a really nice fishing community on there. It's like Instagram, but for fishing. And you've got this premium membership where you can get access to millions of fishing spots and a lot of rich data that gives you a lot better day, and can give you a better day on the water. So if you guys want to really get into a fishing community and get into some really cool data, down the app Fish Spring, link in the description. Please support the company to support us. I'm gonna get this cast out right here. Try to find a big old brown. Fish on. Oh, it's a big fish. Big giant big fish. It's a big fish. Big one, buddy. Big one. Easy, that's a big one. That might be your big brown you want. See how it's big, heavy head shape? Yeah, he's huge, dude. How long did that take? Oh, two casts. All right, now you know why I was in a rush to get back to your fish, and I know you want to get all those funny, pretty pictures oh, and stuff. Oh, I said, boy, we are running out of time, Josh. We got to get dude, fish this, on the line, buddy. This thing is heavy. Yeah, that's what we want. I told you you'd like this. Josh wanted to go down to the harbor and mess around with all those salmon jumping up in the, in the riffles and like a little kid in the canyon. Said, we got to go up in the river. Dude, how big is this fish? Probably a pretty big one, buddy. Probably oh my gosh. Nice big brown. Yep. Yeah. Yep, big brown. No, it's a steelhead. Yeah, it is. It's a steelhead. Oh, Ooh, it's a big coho. Steelhead. Big coho. It's a coho? Yep. Oh. Yep, keep pulling. Oh, I almost fell in the water. Straight back over your left shoulder. See him in the net? Got him, buddy. Oh, it's a coho. Is so that a buck? This, yeah, this fish is going to die. Um, is he? They're just spawning. Remember, I told you the salmon and they're, eat, they're in here eating the eggs from these cohos. Yeah. I mean, the steelhead are. So here you go, buddy. So guys, you can come down to these rivers. You know, everyone talks about float fishing and this and that, but don't forget, Air you want to catch you. fish? Spinners, they catch lake trout, they catch brown trout, they catch cohos, they catch steelhead. Good old fashioned homemade spinner. I make them all myself and they are fish catchers. Blackmouth. You know, a good fishing guide would have brought a pliers. Yeah. So next time you come up here, I know a couple of good fishing guides that can give you their information too. Okay. You know, yeah. That yeah. are probably gonna have like pliers and snacks. They're gonna and have tools. drinks and yeah, rags yeah. to wipe your hands off. And yeah. Real yeah. fancy fly vests and stuff. Imagine that. Earlier, Eric caught that steelhead. Steelhead on eggs. Right here, a spawn bag. And this is, this is this is this is how we get the eggs, guys. These are the eggs. So what we're gonna do so, is I'm gonna let you grab her. Hold on. These are all stock fish. Yeah, let's explain. This is the, this, this is a stock this, fish, not a wild fish. This, is not, this fish can't reproduce. And when you take the eggs out of a fish, it technically counts like towards your... Uh... There they are. There they are. Easy. We're egging the fish. There she goes. Wow. What a cool fish, guys. So we got a brown, we got a steelhead, 
We gotta go three species of the trout family, salmon family. Let's keep doing it. Going to a new spot, right? Yeah, you know, the whole deal with steelhead fishing and float fishing, spinner fishing a river, is you're just hitting the spot for 15, 20, 30 minutes. You catch them, you stay. You don't catch them, you just keep moving. We caught some fish there, and uh, they kind of stop biting after 10 minutes. We'll just keep hitting different holes. I like it. Did I really sign up for this today? If it ain't raining, it ain't training, bro. Oh, bro. Huh. Bro. I'm dying here, bro. <laughs> you know I took off yesterday, today, tomorrow, in the next four days, because I spent $2,000. $2,000? On a hunting lease. Oh, really? Where I lease land. And I was going to go hunt until my good buddy Josh said, hey, man, let's go fishing. Nothing biting in Florida. We got a hurricane. I said, all right, well, let's go. And the leaves are deceptive. There could be a trap underneath them. Hey, Potato, why don't you hand me that bag? I think that bag's slowing you down. OK, Potato? Folks, listen. Come on. In Florida, we have bags that have handles. I'm sick, and I'm outpacing you two to one. Well, here, here, hold, hold, hold up one sec. I'll take that bag. Hold it, hold, hold that. Thank you. Show us some of your agility moves. You got to get the fish caught. I didn't lose any fish. I had one miss my lure. Oh, really? Yeah. What about the one that you had on that came off? Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. forgot about that How one. How soon we forget. I usually come like right here and just cast way across. All right, here we go. Ready? And just, just. Oh, my gosh. It's a wild. There's a bear right there. That's a bear. Davis, look. See the black bear here? Hey, black bee bear. All right. I'm casting. Hey, buddy. You guys don't have bears like that in Florida? No, no. We have actual bears. Are you gonna catch something or what? There we go, fish on. Big fish. Yes, fish. yes. I told you. Brown Big steelhead. Is that oh, a brown? A brown oh yeah, nice brown. Yes, dude. I told you. Did you get foul hooks? No, he's in the mouth. He's just all wrapped up. Nice brown. You get the net? That's a nice fish. Beautiful. Fatty. Nice brown trout right there. Look at that, guys. Right here in downtown Milwaukee. On a secret river that no one knows about. That is such a chunky fish. Solid. Your third cast. Look at that. New spot. Remember I told you they bite she's right talking, away? Guys. You know what she's saying? She's saying, guys, please subscribe to Black Tip H. I'm subscribed. been subscribed for many years. And he's also saying, subscribe to Eric Hadia. Link's in the description. Just tap that subscribe button. That's what she's saying. We're going to let her go now. She's a good See good you fan. later. Bye. Dude, that, she's been subscribed for years, man. What catch her mama. I'm going to catch her. Enough with the daycare browns. Let's catch, a, catch, let's catch a big, fat no. Wisconsin representing. I want a buck. Cottage cheese. Cottage nice cheese. Nice and thick, the way we like them. You like thick? Oh, yeah. To use this thing properly, this is what Eric's told me, and I promise you it works if you caught fish. You're going to cast downstream, like so. Okay. You're going to then set the hook like this, get those blades spinning. You're going to point your rod in the opposite direction of the current, and you're going to reel super slow. Fish on. Yes, buddy. Oh. Eric, you okay? Bring him over here. Boom. In the net, folks. <sighs> Got it. All right, there he there is. There you go, buddy. Not Ooh. a big one, but oh, oh, oh. oh not to squeeze oh. him too much. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, he's got a, he's got a weird head. Look at that head he's got on him. He's like he's like a, it's like a grandpa. He's got that bald head. Another brownie, folks. That's what we came here for. Browns now. I am looking for that 25, 30 pounder. So that's a good start right there. I mean, we got, we got some five pounders, six pounders. I mean, maybe, maybe seven pounder. But it's time now to find that big old kite. Big kite. Eric, who taught you how to fish? Oh, my dad. My dad taught me a lot about fishing. He got me started in it, at least. And then Your I dad just... a master angler? He was good. You know, he liked to troll and do a lot of salmon and walleye fishing, but he never really did a lot of this river fishing or... How'd you learn this? I learned a lot just by going out on my own, man. You know, spending a lot of time on the river, always intrigued with, with catching steelhead and, you know, steelhead fishing's really cool. I like it. Is that one of your favorite fish? Yeah, steelhead and browns. You know, I started guiding maybe 25 years ago and I actually failed the first time trying to stay busy because I was just fishing 
fish in the rivers like this and um, you know come summertime the fish are gone so what are you going to do in the summer so yeah, you're... yeah i learned i learned a lot through fishing the rivers you got three in the first spot two here missed a few Day two on the river here in Milwaukee. It's a bit chilly this morning, guys. But there are some big browns. We saw some giant browns jumping yesterday. We didn't get any. We got like, maybe like a seven pounder. We're looking for a 15, 20 pound fish in the river. That'd be really cool. Right now I'm using a little spinner bait. Got some Eric and the guys down there. Let's see what happens. Oh, there's a fish. Fish on. Oh, Eric, it's a giant steelhead. I need a net. I need a net. Much bigger than anyone we saw yesterday. Bro. <laughs> really nice steelhead. Bro, bro. Big brown. That's a brown? That's a nice brown. Wow. wow. Yeah. Mama. Mama. What is a nice brown? Wow. I thought it was a steelhead. All silver, man. Yes. Ooh. Look at that brown trout, guys. Yay! Dude. That was amazing. Dude, she's so thick. Full of eggs. I mean, Look at that bait in her mouth. Show everybody that bait in her mouth. This is Eric Hadia's bait, guys. Look at that. Another one. Look at the way they crunch spinners, guys. Lake trout, steelhead cohos. I love that spinner I mean, bait. that fish ate that bait. I don't even know if it's going to live, but it's a good... We'll see what we what can do What do you think this it. thing weighs? This guy be close to 10 pounds. Not bad, buddy. He's... I'd say more like six or seven. I hate to break your heart, but a little smaller. It's so, nice right, guys. He's not it's the nice fish. He's just breathing. Beautiful. saying hello, guys. He's saying hello. Good morning from Milwaukee. Unfortunately, this fish has been hooked a little deep. She really swallowed that bait. I don't think it's gonna live. So Eric's gonna keep this fish. He's gonna use this fish for skein and eggs and probably give the meat away to his buddies. So we're gonna harvest this fish. Sad, beautiful fish. I mean, don't, I would prefer to release it, but no point of wasting a good fish. Earlier, I was fishing about 50 yards down there and the water's moving pretty fast. I looked upstream, I read the river and there was a bit of a break right here. I figured that's where the fish has got to be, you know? If I was a fish, I wouldn't want to swim that hard against the current. And like second cast right here, we hooked that brown. Pretty cool. You got to read the water, guys. You never know. You never know how the water, once you figure out where those, that, how that water's moving, you know where those fish move too. So the whole key when I come down here and fish these, these rivers in the, in the fall right now, is you, you come down here and you fish a spot, float fish it, spinner fish it, crankbait fish it, bead fish it, fly fish it, whatever. You fish it for like 20, 25 minutes. We've caught one fish so far. You fish a half hour, 40 minutes. We don't catch anything, we're gone. So we should, in every hole we go to, as soon as you get there, you should start hooking up within the first 15, 20, 30 minutes. If you don't, just pick another stretch and another stretch. And when you start catching them, guess what? Stay. When you're not catching them, keep moving or change your presentation. We're on, we're on, gonna come up. Watch him, Davis, he's gonna jump out there. What do you got, what do you got, Eric? Steelhead, buddy, steelhead. You got a steelhead? Oh, oh. oh. Coming at me, Josh, come towards me, point it at me. There you go, come at me now. Lower, there you go. Here, keep going, turn, a little more. Yeah! Yeah! Yes! <laughs> Woo! Let's go! It's a kite. Wow. Little male. Oh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a kite. Look at the kite. Oh, right. big fish. Is it big? It's huge. Oh, yes. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come help you out. I'm going to come help you out. It's coming. Thank Turn you for letting me catch these fish. What? I appreciate you letting me get in all the year time. I just, you know. It's okay, man. It's a beautiful brown way trout. Better fish, man, look at so. this beautiful brown trout. Is it a kite? It's a kite brownie. It's a kite? It's a kite. No. Yeah. Nice fish. You know what? Casting spinners in the river here. You don't need a boat. You can just walk oh, up and down. Look at the kite. Look at the kite. Look at that. Catch big old brownie. Yes. Isn't that cool? Look how pretty this fish is. See, that is that's the fish of dreams right there. Yeah. That's, well, I'll hold your rod here. Yeah, rod. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Guys, this is the kite right here. That's the kite right there. Look at that. It's got a little nubby. Goes tucks it right in there. And that is the, that is what everyone wants there. A big buck. Big kite, brown trout, and like I said, guys, you just need to throw spinners. Take good care of these fish. Keep them in the water once you catch them. We'll have Rob bring his pliers over here and unhook them. 
since we got a good guide that knows to bring a pair of pliers with. Oh, isn't that nice? Beautiful fish, isn't it? Ready to let him go? Yeah. And there he goes. Wow. Guys, giant browns in Milwaukee. We got through it, buddy. It's been tough. Today's been a bit of a grind. It's been, uh, what's that, third fish? Well, we've, you know what, we've, we've fished spot to spot. We only caught a few today, but that's fishing, buddy. You don't always whack them and stack them, but no, I have you fun don't. fishing with hey. you. Hey, I always have always fun fishing something with you. something different. We do, guys, there's so much fishing to do in Milwaukee. If you guys want to get on the trout, this yeah. is the guy. You don't need a boat, man. You come down here with your waders. There's tons of shore fishing, guys. That's why I wanted to show you this. This is world-class trout fishing in the rivers, world-class trout fishing in the lake. Come on down. Don't yeah. forget to subscribe to this guy's YouTube channel. Subscribe page, to his guys. channel. Subscribe. Follow him on Instagram. Link in the description. Yo, book a trip with Eric. You guys want to catch giant trout? This is the guy. Link in the description. Make sure you guys subscribe. Turn on your post notifications. Guys, click that bell right there. And most importantly, click that like button. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Black Tip H Fishing is brought to you by Frog Tongs. Designed for you, created for the outdoors. And Sudacore Nutrition.